Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is Vlogmas Day 11. So today I'm letting TikTok pick my makeup Christmas edition. So I saw someone do this on TikTok and there's like different filters for like the eyebrows, the eyeshadow, etc, etc, right? So I'm going to do a base and then I'm going to use the filters. But what you guys have to remember, I am not a makeup artist. I don't regularly wear makeup. So this is also a challenge for me. I don't do makeup. I don't wear makeup. So this is going to be a fun Christmas challenge and seeing what TikTok creates on my face. So let's get into it. I'm going to do my base makeup and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so we've got the base makeup on so now we're gonna jump straight into it and then do the first filter which i believe is eyebrows okay guys so i'm gonna screen record on brooks face so you can see what the filter's doing um so let's go okay that's that's doable i can do that all right okay so we've actually got a few things um so we've got this uh clown white light and we've also got the snazaroo we're just gonna try it okay we're trying to make the eyebrows white okay yeah they're white right and then what i'm gonna do is actually use the q-tip to make it a bit more even okay that's kind of smeared it everywhere so what i'm gonna do with that is i'm gonna use the other end and clean it up oh so this doesn't actually clean up that great it's smearing uh oh Okay, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, if I was doing my actual eyebrows, I really would not do this shape. But I'm just kind of shaking. Oh, look, I keep smudging out. Right, I need to just clean this little tail up and then leave it at that because it's just getting worse and worse. I'm going to leave it at that because, yeah. I'm not 100% happy with it, but looking in the mirror, I don't think it looks that bad. So now I've got to try and copy this over to this side. Wish me luck. So what I'm doing is I've got this stick and I'm dipping it in the um, the clown white because it's actually um, creamier. So you can see it's getting really creamy on the top. Oh my God. This is so hard. What I've always heard is eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So I'm not trying to panic about it too much as long as they look related. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so th I've got the base on now. Because this is what I had to do. I had to kind of smother like you just saw. And just kind of spread it out. Across the eyebrow. And then shape it after. Oh my god, this is so funny. Um, this covers really well, actually, because I've got quite dark eyebrows. And you can see a little bit of my eyebrow there. But we're not going to talk about that. Right, and then we're going to try and replicate that shape. I'm now starting to realise that my eyebrows are completely different, because that one's up here. We need to spread it up a little bit. Because the... This one's a bit higher. Do they look related? I don't know. I can't. I think this front is annoying me. Right, I think looking at them, they don't look related at all. I think this one's sharper. I think the shape's pretty much there. I think that one's sharper than that one, whereas that one's a bit more, a bit more blurred. Um, we'll try and 
neat in this one up. I'm gonna try that. I'll be back when they're both done. To be honest, they don't look layered. They don't even look like scissors. They don't even look like twins. But I'm gonna move on because the more I'm playing with it, the more it's not looking like the other eyebrow. So I'm gonna move on to the next filter. Okay, so the next filter is gonna be um, the eyeshadow. So once again, I'm screen recording so you guys can um, see this filter on me. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. I'm sure I can do that. I'm sitting here thinking I might have to use the um, clown makeup thing for the white to make it pop a bit more. Okay, so we've got this red here. Is that the only red we have? So we've got the Maddie Ziegler palette on hand and the Jeffree Star Orgy palette. Yeah, so the Maddie Ziegler is the only red we've got right now, so we're going to use that. Um, so the smallest fan brush I've got is this one, which I don't think is correct. I don't think it's correct to talk about. We're going to use it. Yeah, this is way too big. That's not that pigmented. I don't know. I feel like I want that. I've got hood, really bad hooded lids, so that's really annoying as well. But we just work with what we've got. God given and all that, so it is what it is. That's better, I think. Okay, so I think that's what we should go for. This is quite a pale um, red in this palette anyway. Um, it's not quite a bright red, so we're just kind of working with with what we got. Maybe if I just tap it a little bit instead of like giving it a big old tap. That's better. That's what we want. So we're going to just clean that up a little bit. Um, and then we need to put white. How are we going to make that pigmented? I think we're going to have to use the clown stuff. Right, I'm going to do the other eye and then come back. Ooh, that's a bit too dark pigment. Oh my god, no. I'm right handed. I don't know how people do this. I think that's pretty much even. What do we think? I think that's pretty much even. They're both going in the corners though. Should I just kind of make that into what it is or? Let's just make it into what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right, so now what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to use a Q-tip because that's a bit easier to put in the corners. Um, and then I'm going to see how this goes because I don't really know what I'm doing now. So we'll put it in the corner and that kind of works. I think that's what it's supposed to look like, isn't it? That works. I think that works. It works, isn't it? It works. I think it works. And then we need to do a bit of white on top. Is this what, what, what we're going for? I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, but it works because I've got hooded lids. Hold up. It works because I have hooded lids. I think that's what we're, gonna, we're going for, isn't it? I think, that's, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm happy with that. I'm going with that. Let's go with that. This is actually a challenge. So difficult. Right. Oh my god, I'm a perfectionist. This is not good. They're not the same. What's different? The focus. I think that's pretty similar. Right, then we're going to do the same thing for the top. How did I do it last time? That's lighter than that one. Right, we need to make the other one lighter. Okay, now realistically, this is atrocious. If I go like that, then it looks terrible. But what I see in there, I don't know what it looks like when I look down at the camera. Oh, it looks bad. Right, let me try and put some more red on it um, to try and... Okay, I think that works a lot better, actually. I'm going to take that as a win. We're going to move on to the next filter. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the cheeks. Um, we're supposed to be doing eyeliner, but there's no eyeliner. So we're going to have to skip that one and go straight to the cheeks, which is... So it's the cheeks now. Okay, I'll do that one. Okay, so I'm just going to do the lip filter as well, because Brooklyn's our phone. So we're going to hurry up and do this, um, and then I can do that after on the cheeks. I'm going to record me doing the lips, because Brooklyn's our phone. So... Cute! I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. So we're going to go straight into this. So we've got the yellow blush. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. Oh, God. Right, okay. Now we're getting some pigment in there. Okay. I mean, sure. 
this isn't a normal makeup look so i'm not mad about it we'll go with that so then it says to do like these dots so again a little trusty q-tip this, this would be better if i had like a oh actually tell you what i could do the tip of a makeup brush might be a bit thinner Oh yeah, that's so much better. Why not I do that to be honest? Okay, I think we'll go with that. Then I need to do a candle. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm not that creative. So I'm literally going to try and make this as easy as possible. Um, so I'm going to do like a, a square with a little flame. And just do it that way. Um, okay. Does that look like a candle without the flame? I think that could work. I think that could work. Right, now I'm going to do the other side. Why is there always one side that's better than the other? That's actually really annoying. That just needs to be bigger. Okay. So we just make this a little bit bigger. Like that. Okay, it's getting worse and worse. Let's just put the flame on it. Okay, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna go with my finger just so it's a bit more pigmented. God. Oh, this is so bad. Do you know what? I'm not mad about that. I'm not actually mad about that one. That looks all right. I'm actually quite happy with that one. That's quite cute. I like it. Okay, so the lips. I'm going to go with this. This is the closest red that I can find. Um, so what I'm thinking is do this first. The red red base, then the white lines. I think that'll probably be easier. Okay, let me get the, the mirror because I don't want to mess this a bit up. And this one. One thing on this face that looks like how it's supposed to, so. Okay, that's pretty neat. I'm happy with that, that's fine. I'm going to keep my lips closed just so it's like a nice straight look. So, give me a sec. Okay, hold up. Hold up, this could work. Oh no no we can't we can't go and touch them because they're not transfer. Okay, right, next line. It's like great because blending in with the, the lip gloss. I should have probably done lipstick. This is a lip gloss, so it's very tacky and sticky, so it's not the best, but I'm gonna leave it there because I'm just gonna wreck it. Um so I'm gonna give this all a rating. This lip gloss, I uh, let me take this lip gloss off because it's gone on my teeth so i'm gonna take this off this looks ridiculous now okay so the eyebrows i'm giving a four because i think this eyebrow is a pretty good shape but this one didn't match it um the eyeshadow look i'm giving that a one that's ridiculous um the cheeks i'm gonna give that probably a three i'm gonna give it a four purely because i like that candle it don't look that bad but the dots are really thick is just not given and the lips it looks okay i'll give that a six um but the gloss was too glossy which is good if you just want a normal gloss it is the um it's the uh supreme gloss so it's nice it's glossing um but not for this look i'm not a makeup artist i just wanted to give this a go i think it looks ridiculous i'm gonna be bashing myself while editing this but I gave it a go. It looks stupid. So now I'm going to take it off. But yeah, I hope this was entertaining for you to watch. A non-makeup artist trying to do makeup looks. Because this is this is just too skillful for me. Um, all the people I'm seeing doing it on TikTok are really good at what they're doing. Uh, they're really good at what they do with their makeup. So I'm not. Thanks for watching, guys. And comment down below how you thought I did. Um, I think it's pretty obvious what, what to expect from the comments. But let me know how you thought I did. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video when I post. Bye, guys. Bye.